And the detox exhibition, the club detox, and the festival area things has been a very important experience for us, and not at least a very important thing for us to do, because uh, at the museum we have this idea that we shall make a statement and we shall make a difference, and this is a part of our way to make a difference in this city. Five nights of bleeding. Madness, madness, madness tight on the heads of the rebels. The bitterness erupts like a hot blast, broke glass. Rituals of blood on the burning, served by a cruel in fighting. Five nights of horror and of bleeding, broke glass. Cold blades as sharp as the eyes of hate and the stabbings. It's war amongst the rebels. Madness, madness, war. Madness, madness, war. Mark Bile, a Dutch artist, exemplifies how the old media, that is, graffiti and wall paintings, enter back into the art space. This text on the wall is a critical text on the existence of God. Bile uses Bush's face and paints it in the style of the famous image of Che Guevara. The whole concept is the social bridge that you connect between the museum and the island, between the court festival and the uh, art audience at the museum, between the white cube and the social space. Police State Carnivore is a combination of a computer program which manifests itself in cars driving around. The artists acquired a program which the FBI uses for searching for terrorists. When the program finds keywords on the internet, such as bomb or terrorist, the cars start moving and blinking wildly. This piece of art is an almost fully functioning neutron bomb. The only missing component is the plutonium. It's symbolized by a baseball. If the baseball was replaced by an amount of plutonium the same size, the bomb would be able to explode. So this shows how art could really affect society. Atelier van Liesoud has made a piece of art which you can take home with you. It's a manifestation of how you could act. It's an instruction on how to build a weapon. Philip Lachemann shows us a video of a plane which was hijacked in the desert of Dubai in the 1970s. We have the impression of tension, but nothing happens. The original image was actually only a single photograph, which he made into a video. To create this carpet, the Swiss artist Barbara Kaveng got people from all kinds of different countries to come together and help her make it. During this long process, she recorded the conversations the people had, and visitors can listen to them on the computer. This painting shows an injured whale. The wound has the shape of Norway. The piece brings together corporatism whale hunting in Norway. Uh, 
we are gonna be in trouble. So okay, nobody is allowed to take our clothes, yeah? We are not doing any casting. You cannot have sex either. Okay? Is it an arts museum? Yeah, you can spend my ass. By your own will. Can you lick your finger? I can lick it. How do you think the media has responded to it? Do you think the media makes it worse? They make it worse, really. Yeah, because it's been blown up. But it, it was a shock. We didn't expect. In the town, I can say I've talked with a lot of people, but Christians and non-Christians, we didn't expect something like that to happen. I think usually, in terms of uh, any problem with uh, art and porno, uh, the debate about art and porno always happens afterwards. You know, after you see something. Yeah. Oliver Ressler's work consists of videos which are shown on numerous monitors. They show documentations about activists who use media to gain power to make a difference in society. Altogether, it's more than nine hours of video. On the floor, you see lines which form a grid. This grid connects the monitors and symbolically expands them into real space. The point is to state how important it is to step out of the monitor. People are grilling like, I don't know, really nerds and freaks. And that's why we try to react or respond uh, with our sort of super grill platform. Part for the project was a sort of reaction on Norway or Norwegian barbecue culture because we were visiting Norway last year. As well, our intention was to, to deal with a sort of an alternative design for a barbecue machine or a barbecue grill. And that's what we decided to do with, it, with uh, used oil barrels. Where I think just the, the ideas of all the, the art projects on the festival areas were kind of, yeah, reactive on what is going on on a festival. Um, we're here uh, at Detox with a project called Guarana Power. Um, it's a soft drink uh, that we have developed together with farmers from Brazil. Some companies that we can't mention here uh, have sort of a mon monopoly on buying Guarana in the region. So they lowered the price uh, a lot. The problem for the farmers is that the, so the soft drink company is like still using them as the picture of the original Guarana from Maues. Um, and they think that that's unfair. The idea is like to uh, claim uh, the strategies of the big so soft drink companies and the design, the logo as a raw material, the same way that they use the farmer's raw material, so we just change the situation around. But you can also uh, see it as a model for uh, a model for society, like the society outside of the art world can actually take this model up and change uh, things. We have had a discussion with the uh, uh, authorities uh, here in, um, in Norway about whether this is art or not, but we claim that this is an art piece because it works within an artistic context. It works as a model. That's how I see the art world, as a place where you can go and you can see ideas, you can exchange, and that's the way the art field works for me. So that's the discussion here in Norway. So we had to close it down. So we had to close it down, close it down. Man blir så klinig når man hører at en kunstner blir arrestert på offentlig gate her i Kristiansand. 
Han er en del av en større kunstutstilling her på museet og på kvarten. Og han er egentlig en allmenn berikelse og egentlig der for å informere om McDonalds som et globalt matvarefilmer. Cheeseburger! Complete name, Guillermo Lino Gomez Peña, English translation, Guermo, Guermo, Guillermo Gomez Pinis. I just want you to imagine for a second, I want you to imagine a French anthropologist from La Sorbonne attempting to explain the racial eccentricity of contemporary America to his colleagues back home. exercise on radical democracy. After all, we are all trying to closely look for new ways to kind of exercise our freedoms because the government, your government, my government, doesn't let us to exercise our freedoms. So I need your help. I need your help to kind of co-imagine a future, a better future for your country and my country. Any ideas? Spies, a bit more policy, sex? What does it mean? Okay, locals, the audience is talking finally. Let's add more politics to this image. One, two, three, go! And web back. Weapons used to fight back, language spoken and written, live performance, radio, the internet, theatricalized madness, humor, strategic silence, and a Mexican survival kit. And uh, but it has been very exciting because there has suddenly been a lot of energy in this town, a lot of students and artists from all over the world. And for a small town like Kazan San, 75,000 inhabitants, I think they have been noticing that through the media and through the, of course, uh, what happens in the streets and at the museum. And uh, people seem to enjoy it very much. So I'm very happy for this. And uh, I'm really looking forward to next time this can happen again. Really.